Hey, what's up, everybody? It's the Crypto Ginger here. Just want to take a quick moment and go over an article I found very interesting when it comes to a new incentive program that Ripple has actually designed to help increase XRP adoption. Now, this is coming from newsbtc.com, and we can actually see where Ripple is taking roughly around $300 million in XRP of its own holdings to fund this accelerated program. And according to the company blog, the program consists of what's called a volume rebate and an adoption marketing incentive. Now, of course, uh, it goes over these two different types of programs. It says that the volume rebate is an incentive that offers XRP rebates to RippleNet members which have reached a certain milestone in terms of process transaction volume. The announcement goes on to add that the reimbursement can cover anywhere from 50 to 300% of the integration fees and first year license fee. It can be taken in XRP or USD, but resale of tokens will be restricted to support healthy XRP markets. So very much like, uh, I believe, an escrowed wallet for XRP, you do have those restrictions, so you won't be able to trade those into other cryptocurrencies for possibly uh, a restricted amount of time. But again, you do have the option of picking XRP or USD for that reimbursement there. Uh, the uh, second part here is specified that it is the initiative of an adoption market incentive which rewards members that promote Ripple services to other companies. So if you're a RippleNet member and you're promoting uh, companies, you actually get part of this new type of incentive program. Uh, it does state here that RippleNet members will be giving marketing tools and materials that help expand the ecosystem. The vice president of Ripple here, Monica Long, states that we're borrowing a page from the likes of PayPal with their early days adoption and referral bonuses, implementing incentives to accelerate network effects on RippleNet. Since we're offering the incentives in XRP, we anticipate seeing an added benefit of building an easy on-ramp for institutions to use XRP in their payment flows to lower liquidity costs in the future. Early reception of these XRP incentives in a test phase have been very positive. So as you can see according to this article here that we have what looks to be an easy way for more adoption coming into XRP because we have a, a good incentive program for RippleNet members to get paid in XRP, two different manners there. And of course that right there is just gonna really help incentivize them to wanna have other companies hop on board just as well. And then when those companies are on board with RippleNet and they meet their milestone marks, then they can actually reach out to other companies as well and then be incentivized and you can see how this could carry on and on and on until you have just about every company on board RippleNet. So again, this right here is a great way for companies that are part of RippleNet to take advantage of these two different types of incentive programs and again, to help increase the XRP adoption and of course, hopefully the RippleNet community as well. I actually wanted to go over one last article here I found very interesting. So here we happen to have this article from Daily Hodel talking about how the first bank utilizing XRP reveals Ripple-based trade finance system to replace SWIFT. Now this happens to actually be about EuroXM Bank. We've actually talked about them in previous videos. They are going to be one of the first primary banks to start utilizing XRapid. And of course, here in this article we have the head of compliance and operations, Graham Bright, talking to Global Trade Review about Ripple's X current to power the new pilot that they're working on. It says here that while Ripple has so far focused its X current product on payments messaging only. Bryce says the two parties are now preparing a pilot capability that embeds trade finance instructions into an X current message. This is similar to what Swift offers today, but on a blockchain network and allows for real time exchange without middleman. The idea is, apart from just the payment instruction, what if we use the message to transmit a trade finance instruction directly to the counterparty? It could be a letter of credit or a performance bond. Technically, you're able to transmit the whole of that message via X current, says Bright. And of course, the last bit of this article states that as for the XRP powered X Rapid, EuroXM says it plans to roll out the technology for commercial production on the first quarter of this year. So we're going to be seeing that being implemented very soon, guys, when it comes to this bank here. I just thought it was very interesting when it comes to this uh, new procedure that they're working on with Ripple here to transmit the information back and forth just like Swift. But uh, I think at this point in time, it's pretty much uh, apparent that we're going to see Ripple become this new digital form of Swift on all grounds, especially when it comes to transferring value as well. So I'll leave all these links into the description so that you guys can take a look at this uh, on your own but again i just wanted to bring this to your guys' attention i think that this is all fascinating news when it comes to the expansion of ripple and of course the adoption of xrp just as well let me know what you guys think in the description thanks again for watching guys if you're new to the channel please hit the like and subscribe button and of course take advantage of any of those links in the description if you're looking to secure
secure your cryptocurrencies offline, get the Ledger Nano. And if you're just simply wanting to have your cryptocurrencies on your mobile phone uh, for any type of access, the Uphold Wallet is perfect for that. Thanks again for watching, guys. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.